Hello everyone and welcome back to Gay Chill Crafts. I'm Sarah and this week I have a recipe for you. Um, now this one might not be your favorite summertime recipe because it does call for turning on the oven um, but last weekend it was pretty cold and rainy and I had a friend coming over um, for coffee and I thought I'd make some scones. So I wanted to share that recipe with you. Um, now this is not a recipe that I came up with myself. It is adapted from a couple of other sources, but like a lot of recipes that I share here on the channel, um, this is a simplified version and um, it's less complicated and that's generally the way I like to cook. So today's recipe for cream scones, um, you do not use butter um, for the fat, um, unlike most scone recipes. You um, <clears throat> can do a much simpler preparation rather than having to cut butter into your flour um, and then add milk, which is what most recipes call for, you can just use heavy cream. And the proportions of this recipe are based around an eight fluid ounce um, a small jug of heavy cream. Um, and this is easy to find in most grocery stores in this size. And um, so that's what I based this recipe around. Now, as usual, um, I will have complete uh, detailed recipe or uh, ingredient list as well as step-by-step uh, -step instructions on the blog so the link to that will be uh, below this video but essentially what you do is you combine your flours I use a combination of whole wheat and regular flour or, or white flour um, you combine your flours salt a little bit of leavening um, some sugar if you want the scones to be sweet um, or you could omit the sugar and make a savory scone and then um, combine that with your eight ounces of heavy cream in a mixing bowl. Um, use a fork just until the mixture starts to stick together and is still kind of crumbly and then turn it out on a work surface. Knead it very, very lightly. Um, again, for anything like a scone or a biscuit, you want to just work the dough until it barely sticks together. You don't want to overwork it or your baked good will turn out kind of tough rather than light and flaky. Um, so once that dough comes together, divide your scones, bake them off, and it's a pretty short baking time. I believe it's under 20 minutes, but again, that'll be in the full recipe. And voila, instant, you know, coffee accompaniment or um, I sometimes even use these, um, like I said, for a savory scone. I use them for like, oh, almost like a dinner roll or a biscuit. So I hope you enjoy um, these two variants. I'll put the sweet and the savory directions into one recipe. And if you make the heavy cream uh, scones, let me know and let me know what you think of them. Um, thank you very much for joining me and tune in next week. I think we're um, overdue for a tasting and so Rick and I will be back together. Um, to taste one of our recent beverages. Cheers. <laughs>